Chemical pesticides. They're used on nearly everything we grow. But now, the European Commission wants to cut their use in half by 2030, part of its latest plan on sustainability and biodiversity. The Commission says it's not a complete ban, even if the 50% reduction target would be legally binding. By 2030, half of chemical pesticides should be replaced with alternatives, with practices like crop rotation and with technologies like precision farming. We also propose to prohibit all pesticides used in sensitive areas like schools, hospitals, parks and playgrounds. Member states would have to submit regular reports on their progress as part of the new regime. EU funds would also be available over the next five years to cover the costs of any new requirements. But many governments are already opposing the new proposals, saying the timing is wrong given the current food crisis. The time is complete, completely inappropriate to make this proposal because we are in a moment where food is needed in Europe. Uh, we are uh, again in a debate on food security in Europe and to propose uh, this bo both of these uh, regulations I think is, is simply inappropriate. The plans also include a mandatory nature restoration target for countries to repair 20% of damaged ecosystems by 2030. The commissioner in charge of the proposal told Euronews this idea is win-win for everyone. We should stop living in a myth uh, that acting for nature, restoring nature, is just costs and, and no benefits. And, and our, our, our impact assessment shows that one invested euro brings eight uh, euros of benefits. One of the main goals is to reverse the decline of pollinators like bees, which experts say actually increases farming yields and helps restore ecosystems naturally. For now, though, they're just plans. The European Parliament and European Council will need to approve them before they can become law. Christopher Pitcher's Euronews, Brussels.